Are you ready to master CapCut in minutes? Whether you're a beginner or an expert, we've got you covered. This is part of our library of quick CapCut tutorials for easy editing solutions. And now I'll show you how to blur faces in CapCut. So here we have two people walking down the beach on our video clip. And let's say I want to blur out the lady's face. The first thing you want to do is duplicate the clip. You can either go Control C and then Control V and this will then copy the clip like that. Alternatively, right click, then come up to copy, then right click and then press paste. Now we have two clips on our timeline exactly the same. What we want to do is we want to press the top clip here, then we want to come up to effects, then we want to press the video effects here, then you want to select lenses here on the left hand side, you want to come down until you see the blur effect. And you want to press that, and you drag it onto the timeline and extend it to the full length of the clip. Now we've done that, we want to highlight both clips, the top clip and the blur effect, and right click and select Create Compound Clip. You can see the Mac keyboard shortcut is Options and G. If you're on a Windows device, your shortcut will be listed here also. So let's make this a compound clip. Now, as you can see, the clip and the blur effect have now merged together or become a compound clip. Now, what we want to do now, once we've merged them two together and made it a compound clip, is come up to the video here on the right hand side and select mask. We want to select the circle mask. And as we want to blur out the lady's face, we'll make this a little bit smaller until we blur out the lady's face. Now, as you can see, when she moves away, the blur stays in that one place. So we need to use keyframes to move that blur effect. So let's go back to the start of the clip. Now you want to press the keyframe straight away. So we're happy with this starting position. So we add that keyframe. Then you want to play the clip on. You don't need to press that keyframe button again. You just need to keep moving the blur effect over the lady's face. So you play the clip on, move the blur effect, and you just keep repeating that process for the whole of the clip. So I'll speed this process up. You can adjust the size of the blur as the lady comes closer to the screen and it, the blur needs to be bigger. This won't affect the previous keyframes. So once you've completed the whole clip, we play it. And as you can see, the lady's face is completely blurred out throughout the clip. But here, we do actually see the lady's face. But don't worry, you don't need to restart. You can just go to this proportion of the clip, move the blur, and it'll add that extra keyframe for you making sure the lady's face is completely blurred in all frames. So that's how to blur faces in CapCut. You've experienced a quick CapCut tutorial, but the journey doesn't end there. Dive deeper into the world of CapCut with our dedicated playlist of tutorials designed to make your editing experience smoother and more efficient. Learn everything from basic edits to advanced techniques that will take your videos to the next level. So, what are you waiting for? Click the link in the description below or on screen now to start watching. And don't forget to hit that subscribe button for more helpful content.